All right, well, welcome to my uh, leg drag uh, instructional videos. Uh, I'll be doing these techniques using my training partner, Chris Stepchuk from Fusion Fight Gear. As you can see, we're all geared up with uh, Fusion today, so we're looking sharp. Uh, okay, so let's get into the leg drag. The leg drag is a position I like using a lot for passing the guard. It's not necessarily uh, a full guard pass but you, it's in, you're in a position where you've completely broken down the structure of the guard, so it puts you in a place um, where you, you can easily pass. So it's a great place to go to to start passing here. So we'll show you what that looks like. So if I just go to the position right here, you know, there's not much that he's got to defend. Like he's, he, you know, when, when he has a guard, it's because he's got his feet connected to me or he's got some hooks. Okay, so he's really attached to me, he's able to control the distance. But when I'm in this position here, I got more control of that because his feet are not connected on me and I've sort of turned him away from me. He needs his hips to be turned towards me to be effective. But being away from me, it's a lot harder. So this is the leg drag. Okay, so now why this position is so good? Uh, other reasons is because if I come down here and collapse him here, he can't really do anything with his hips, especially if I use everything right and I'm forcing him this way. All he has now is his arms to stop me. Okay, so dealing with this is, we'll, we'll, we'll visit that later, but that's why the leg drag is so good. So when I'm here, I'm not completely past yet, but it doesn't take much to just get to the side control. Okay, so now I'm going to show you uh, how I like to get into the leg drag position, the, how I understand uh, how to use the leg drag. It can be done in many, many ways. But here, this is, so normally the leg drag, you'll see variations. People do passing the guard just right to here, more like this. Some people will smash you down like this, okay? And, uh, they, you know, everyone enters a different way. So for me, it's very specific. I like to go here because I anticipate it's not going to be easy for me to keep his hips away from me. He's always going to fight towards me. This is very common. So what I like to do is I'm going to post, go on my knee. I insert my knee right on his chest and I make sure my foot is off the ground. It's going to pay, play a big role on how I control his hips. Okay, so here, so if we turn a little bit. I usually like to come and grab the pants right here, okay? So when I'm here, I take a step with my knee and then I extend my leg and I drag his hip as well. So from here, I usually, I will pivot my elbow. See, the problem with the leg drag is when he's defending with the knee. This is always the issue. So I always want to bring his knee past my armpit. And once I'm there past the armpit, my elbow usually connects to my knee like this. And I like grabbing the lapel right here. So once I'm here, I can drive him to the side. And depending on how he defends, I'll fight to get past the guard. Okay, so now we're gonna go through some uh, solutions to problems that you face uh, when you're doing a leg drag. Uh, specifically when you've got the leg across and their hips are secured yet and they're able to use their free leg uh, to regard and uh, it looks like this so I've got his leg past my uh, past my hip here is on, on my leg I'm doing the right thing and is he's able to come all the way and stop me from passing so here it's not going to work anymore so what I'll do is I, I usually like to keep this leg here and I'll grab this foot here and I'll sprawl back and just put my weight right here, okay? So before he's able to defend this, you can shoot your, your knee through. And you can see like I'm, all, I'm blocking the top of his thigh here, okay? And you can use a, a twist pass here. So that's one option. Or you can go here and you can enter with just doing a leg drag, okay? But if you're doing a leg drag, you've got to make sure you, you understand that he, he is going to fight and come back. So the way I like to approach this is to make sure that he follows my rib and I have him in my armpit and then my elbow starts at his hip and leads back down. Okay, so now he's stuck. He cannot bring this leg back anymore. 
and that's what's so special about the leg drag. And then from here, it's pretty simple, just pass. Okay, another problem you face uh, when you're doing a leg drag is when someone is, is circling the free leg and they're blocking your shoulder instead of the hip. Uh, you have to deal with it a little differently. Uh, so, a drag here and he comes to my shoulder instead, which is very effective for him. So you gotta anticipate it a little bit and you know, I recommend when you leg drag that you actually, you know, you squat down, right? So when he comes through, you're ready to grab the thigh. Okay, so you would have to do this at the same time. So right when he's doing it, you come down, always control this foot right here. And you just need to drop your knee and your hip, and you pass. Okay, so now there's uh, some more problems that happen. Maybe you've dragged the leg properly and you're on your way to pass, but they're able to move their hips really quick, just a short little motion. Some people are really good at this, and they block you with their shin, okay? So go here, boom, and then, you know, of course, I need a shin to be away from me to do the leg drag and pass, but he'll do the right thing, and boom, I'm done. I can't pass anymore for sure, okay? So this is, this is very the, probably the most common thing that will happen, and this is what I always do. Hand. Okay, you can grab the knee for now, drop to your knee, and then I, you come and look for the material inside the pants here. It can be anything, it can be the belt, pants, and that little hole here, it's fine. Okay, and then you put your knee through and make sure you have a nice hook on the far leg here, okay? So from here, you take a big step with your knee, stretch your leg, and pull the hips, okay? And then from here, you can start standing up and think about passing. Okay, another scenario is when you're leg dragging and they're pulling your foot through, okay? As though they're trying to do a 50-50 guard or foot lock. So I may be here doing a good job, but he's able to bring my foot in. This gives him a, a position of foot lock, right, 50-50, if he puts my foot to the other side, even knee bar. So dealing with this, most of the time, well not most of the time, sometimes you're able to just grab him here and start smashing right away, but that's definitely not the case all the time. So if, it's, if he's got the position nicely and he's starting to bring your foot up, what I like to do is I lay it down here, my bottom leg goes all the way through and I protect my leg, okay? So I make sure though, like you're still in danger of him grabbing your foot and controlling it. So you're gonna wanna bend it away and I come and grab the lapel. You see how my elbow, like I like to come up, not like this, okay? I bring my elbow in, my hand behind me and I push. Okay, so I'm always controlling the thigh here and making sure that once I'm here, I'm smashing him. All right, so now, so let's move a little bit this way. See, now my, my feet will be crossed, but you uncross and you try to get on top. And now you have the leg drag position and then you pass. All right, something you need to watch out for when uh, you're leg dragging is uh, the calf slice submission, okay? So that's a great way to stop the leg drag. Uh, I have a, a pretty good technique to escape the, the calf slice, so let's take a look at that. Um, so keep in mind, every time you leg drag here, you have a lot of space to give your partner or your opponent uh, the good leg, okay? And they know that I don't want to be here, right? So it's a good strategy for him that I keep my leg right here. Now he's able to actually triangle up his leg and now I'm in this position here so he can definitely possibly submit me or I'm just stuck, okay? So here, let's turn around this way. So like this, my leg alone may not be strong enough to stretch out of this. 
So I use my free leg and I connect with my foot. I sprawl away just a little bit and then I just stretch my hips and then I come back. And when I come back, I want to bring in my elbow where right this hip, turn around, connect my elbow to the knee and I'm in the leg drive position. Okay, so you know when you're doing a leg drag and you successfully uh, control the hips and you're on your way, uh, the last thing you're usually dealing with is the frames, the hands, and how they're keeping you at bay from passing. So we gotta figure out how to deal with that. So maybe I'm here, here, here. I've done everything right, and I've come, I'm all ready to pass. He's, you know, he feels pressure, and he's going to use his last line of defense here. So a good way for him to do it is to see how his body is twisted, and he's using this side. Okay, so this is strong for him. So what I usually do when someone does this, I go on the top here. Okay, and I'm going to pinch my elbow down against the, the tricep and move a little bit. So that kind of breaks his frame here. And even if he's holding on to my lapel, I can still put enough pressure and it's just uncomfortable for him and I'll just pass. Okay. Now if the strength is coming from this side framing, okay, so this one way you can, if he's not holding on tight to your, to your lapel, you can kind of just punch the elbow away and come in for like a choke, okay? But if he's still, if he's holding on, again, it's very similar to the other side, you go on top here and you just put pressure on the tricep and change the angle of your body putting a lot of weight on his elbow and I'll usually get rid of it and of course these are standard other things where you posture and break but you got to watch for that you posture you, he's going to open his knee okay so now I'll show you a technique that I like to use for when I'm stacking someone you know, when I'm pushing the legs back and they're very flexible and they're not giving me any space. So right here, what I like to do is I'll use my leg here. I want to keep his hips up. So I'll just take a step. See, watch this. I'm sort of on my side. My heel is facing this way. Okay, and then I'll insert my knee on his chest. Okay. Okay, from here, I'll keep control of this leg and I grab the pants right here. Okay, so once this happens, I can post, I can drop my knee, but when I drop my knee, I shoot it way far back so that when I extend my leg and drag the hips, I have the leg drag position right here. I pivot, grab the lapel, okay, you can grab both. You can make sure he's, his upper body is twisted before you pass, and go for it. Okay, so here, when you're doing a bullfighter pass, I'll show you how I like to enter the leg right here. I usually go here. So what will happen though, he's gonna go inverted, this is pretty common, and go upside down, okay? So right before he's too far, you gotta grab this leg. And then you grab the pants right here, okay? Make sure you pinch your, el your elbow against his thigh here. And look, I'm gonna actually roll him to the side and put his weight down right here, okay? Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm always on my toes here, okay, so I have maximum uh, mobility. I'm going to insert my foot here, and now I'm in the leg drag, okay? So from the leg drag, of course, pivot, lapel, two lapels, okay, push, make sure both shoulders on the ground, and pass. Okay, so here we're gonna do spider guard entry against the spider guard, okay? So here, watch this. I'm gonna circle out. If he's got a double spider on me, I'm gonna circle out, control this leg and just escape this side, okay? Here, I'm gonna grab the pants, come nice and close, posture nice and high. And you see, as I drag him down, my elbow comes right here and I secure the knee. Again, you can always anticipate. That's why I like to do my move where I go away, post, bring my knee up, grab the pants, 
Take a big step with your knee and stretch your leg. Okay, here, pivot, grab, grab, pressure on the shoulders, and pass. Okay, so when you're in the half guard, there's another entry I like to do for from the lasso. It could be lasso or half guard. Um, you're gonna grab the belt here like this, okay? So once I got this position, you see he's shielding me right here. I'm gonna sprawl back and put pressure on the shield and move his foot under my stomach here, okay? And once it's right here, I grab the heel, okay? And then I walk to the side and I need to free this arm too. So I'm dragging the leg, putting my insert in my knee. And again, always anticipate the leg to come back. Always keep your armpit ready for the, to be below the knee. As it comes back, drag back. Okay, go nice and low with your elbow, pivot. Grab the lapels and pass. Okay, here in the De La Hiva, I'll show you, you know, in the De La Hiva, keep in mind, it's very common to take a little step back and come back and you sit on the foot and then you're trying to pass like this. But don't forget, you have the option to pull the foot up. And when you stand tall, you can redirect the leg and start a leg drag. Grab the knee, take a step back, post, and again. Grab the material here, big step with the knee, then kick lapel see if his arm is here sometimes he will be all the way that way you can grab him behind here and use your chest against his elbow and he won't be able to come back and you can actually start looking for the back instead of side control okay so there's even a leg drag entry for to the against the uh, reverse of the heba here so we want you know he's going to have a grip here very normal I'm going to point my toes out and I'm going to kick my foot free. So here, that's how that looks like. So if he's got my foot, take a step, I kick free. You can't even hold on, okay? Okay, so once, I, once you, you know that, kick free. I insert my knee right here and kick this leg out and replace. Grab the knee, post the hand, drop the knee, grab the pants, okay? Make sure you elevate your foot. Take a step with the knee, stretch the leg. Call the collar and pass. Okay, here's a leg drag entry against the butterfly. So first thing you gotta do is put him on his back, right? And then bring your knees nice and high, okay? So you can grab both lapels here and I'm gonna to lean to the side, always controlling this leg and taking a really sharp angle back step to free from the far leg butterfly. And then I come back, I switch my legs and you'll see like a shin will be in front of my thighs here. Like this, okay, next step, I need to get into the leg drag. Okay, so I'm gonna put my knee in there, here, pants, and everything else is the same. Okay, the way I like to enter the leg drag here against a turtle position, so I'm gonna grab behind the collar here. Okay, I'm gonna go find his foot. And right here, I'm gonna put my foot against his knee just to block it, just so I can raise him, okay? So once I have him like about this high, I take a step back, insert my knee. Okay, again, always anticipate. He's gonna open his, his knee up. Make sure your ribs are behind his knee. Grab the pants and everything's the same. Okay, so here 50-50, uh, this is how I like to get into the leg drag from here. I'm gonna come and grab the pads here and I'm gonna lift the hips just a little bit, post my hand, 
I'm going to insert my knee and then fall back. And I'm going to kick this leg free. So usually when I sit down for this position, I'm going to really kick hard, okay? Switch your grips to like this. Always control the far leg so he doesn't shrimp away. Okay, so replace and point the knee towards the chest. Now replace the hands as well. Okay, we're going to get up on our knee. And right into the leg drag. Okay, so when you're in the X guard here, specifically the X guard where the foot is against your, uh, this the close hip and not the traditional hip, this technique will work best right here. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is grab the collar just so I can be attached. And I'm gonna come towards him and, and post. And when I'm here, I'm gonna search my hips just to put the knee inside and fall on the ground. Okay, so right from here, you can grab the pants. You're gonna go and find the heel. Okay, because he still has a little bit of control. And you notice that I'm keeping his leg off the ground so he cannot shrimp away. Pull out. Okay, and then right here, you're gonna scissor. Go to your side and make sure you enter your knee for the leg drag entry. Your hand here, you come and grab the pants. See my foot goes here. I elevate my hips and my elbow comes to the other side and I push myself up. Okay, take a little step with your knee. Okay, attach your elbow to your, your own knee. Pivot, grab, grab, and pass. You're gonna grab the lapel. Okay, I'm gonna, you gotta make sure too, this is the X, the, uh, the new school style X guard, kind of the close hip. This is the only way it will work. You grab the lapel, post your hand, and look, I'm gonna sort of elevate myself. I push myself up, turn my hips to insert my knee, and I fall on my back. Okay, make sure you secure the knee here, so you'll end up in this position like this. Okay, you can grab the pants, make sure that your foot is always hooking the far leg so he can't escape or get up or shrimp or do anything. We're gonna look for the heel, okay? To peel this hook out, and then I'm gonna scissor my legs into my, my leg drag entry, okay? Switch my hands. Okay, now look, I'm gonna bring my foot Bend my knee, turn up over and bring my elbow behind me. Push myself up, okay? Take a step with my knee, extend the leg, and then drag. Drag the hips, okay? Elbow connection to the leg, lapel and lapel, and pass. Okay, so here I'm gonna start with the one leg X here and he's always gonna peel this foot off first all the time. So I'll free my foot, come back, and I'm gonna do the X guard with my foot close to the hip right here, okay? So from here, I'm gonna make this leg light by pointing my knee up. My two hands come on the foot and make sure you grab the gi here uh, when you transition the foot over to the other side. Hold on to it tightly. And then you come and grab the belt. Okay, as soon as you have the belt, you can let it go to the top leg and it goes below. Okay, so here I'm going to collapse him to the ground, and he's usually always going to be putting his weight forward like he is right now because he knows that he I can drag him and make him fall this way. Okay, so he's going to balance himself over here, which is fine. So, what I'm going to do with my X guard, I'm going to bring my knees to my chest. Okay, and now my knee I can almost touch his, uh, his chest right here, and I'm going to just redirect him. And at the same time, I extend my, my arm and I make the sweep, okay? I keep my foot right here and I insert my knee. My hand goes to the belt, okay? My hand comes through and I push myself up, take a short step, get into the leg drag position, and you can pass it. Okay, so here from the deep half guard, um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually, my hand's going to go in and I'm going to use my legs to sort of move him to the side, okay? I'm going to bring my leg here, right just underneath his foot, okay? And then I'm going to push my head free and get this other hook right here. So behind his back here, I'm going to actually replace with my other hand, 
and now I use my X here. I'm gonna bring his foot and hold on to it right here. Okay, so here, look, I'm gonna do a little shoulder roll and end up on top. All right, so now I can let go of his foot right here. Okay, the hand on the belt, you're gonna bring your elbow right on the top. Okay, now you drag the hips. Now this is starting to look more like a back take. You can do a choke or just take it back. Okay, so here uh, Chris has got me in the uh, 411 position. Uh, just be careful because if he's hugging my foot from the top, like he's ready to do a foot lock, this is kind of too late. Well, or you know, so what, what we want to do is control this forearm. Okay. So what I would, I would want to do this with two hands. And I'm going to drag it across so my leg is free here. So I'll fall on my back. Always hold on to this sleeve. Even if you want to transition to the here, it's even better. So I'm blocking his hand away from me. The top, the top leg here, I'm gonna push. Just a secret behind the knee. Then you push with your free leg, circle, and pull the heel, replace, and start turning on your side towards the leg drag. I can let this go now. And we're gonna go find the pants again. Okay, we get up. Okay, short step with the knee, kick. Redirect the hips. Right into the leg drag position. So from the De La Hiva here, we're going to grab the heel, come and grab the belt, and I'm going to push him to the side. We're going to go right into the Barambolo. So for me, when I do the Barambolo, I like to bring my knee up right here, okay? And then I always control, and I switch, just like this. Now with this hand here, I go and I grab the pants, get up to my knee, hand, short step, redirect the hips, Call the collar and pass. Okay, here we'll start in the reverse De La Hiva position, okay? Right from here. So my hand, instead of holding on the top, I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna go upside down, start a kiss of the dragon sweep. And do a bit of an X guard on the other leg. Okay, so here, watch this, my, my hand close to my head, it's gonna circle and grab the belt, okay? So here, I need to drop my X a little bit just to collapse him forward, all right? So right here, he, he, he doesn't wanna come back towards me because this is where he's gonna get swept. So what I do is I stretch, sit down a little bit, come back and redirect. Let go of the leg, come up, take the short step with the knee, stretch, <laughs> grab the collars and pass. And I'm gonna bring my hand inside here and I'm gonna start doing a kiss of the dragon. Okay, so make sure you keep your feet nice and connected to the leg and you switch to the other side. Okay, so always hold on to the leg, especially this one here. You're gonna do a little transition. You're gonna come up and grab the pants. Okay, so right from here, you're gonna drop your leg a little bit just so you can control the bottom of his knee. Right, see I have his leg bent. And of course he's gonna naturally wanna sprawl this way and I expect that. So you can stretch your leg and bring it back towards you and then make it fall to the side. Okay, so here everything's the same. Hand, knee, take a little step with the knee. Stretch, okay, hands on the lapels and you can pass.